Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Extended for Queen Cancer Tarot. And thank you for joining me in the Extended. Um, and we are going to get right into it, Cancers. So, um, you know, we do see you coming in with an apology, Cancer. Um, we saw the Page of Cups. Um <clears throat> and it looked like you were going back in to apologize to your person with the three of wands. You know, you had the foresight, Cancer, to see um, that this is what you needed to do in order to be happy and, you know, in order to make things right with your person. Now, you're eating a little bit of humble pie here, Cancer, because again, you know, you're coming in after having gone a little bit and I don't want to say too far cancer I won't say too far because you know <laughs> a cancer's um ability to hold on to things for certain lengths of time for certain reasons are a cancer's prerogative okay and I uh, know better than to ever mess with that <laughs> being a fellow cancer myself but also being a wise cancer understanding that we can hold on to things too long and to our detriment as well so that i do know and understand very very much so so do have to caution all of you about that in this case cancer so let's find out you know are you um you know will your bitter bitterness go away and stay away for good you know or are you not truly over the betrayal you know that your person did in fact cause here so we're gonna find out that's what we're gonna look at and then we are also going to start off I feel looking at some Oracle okay so let's do that so we can channel in some messages here before we take two specific questions here and um, what I am going to do as well is relight the incense cancer So, Cancers, for those of you who are not aware, I do have a new channel on YouTube, Tarot Talk Live. Um, that is an interactive channel, so you all are able to vote and let me know what you want to see on that channel. Um, you will be able to get up and discuss on live discussions, on panel, on air, Um you know, some streaming, some, you know, mostly it will be lives on that channel. Um, you know, some longer, some shorter lives, but they'll all be planned and scheduled. Um, and they will have a format and some of them will be freestyle sessions where we just get on there and chit chat and talk about what's happening. Okay. Um, there will be certain topics, however, um, that we will focus on. And we're going to go week by week. We're going to start off going week by week. If we need to have special sessions where it goes, you know, further than a week or longer than a week, we might have some specials where it goes two weeks or even a month, depending on what the topic is and, you know, how important and, you know, how much detail we're going to go into that specific topic, Cancer. So we're going to be touching on a lot of different issues and things on that channel um, regarding tarot, regarding all things and all genres uh, surrounding and around the tarot, angel encounters, life after death, spiritual um, encounters, um, psychic abilities, cancer, spiritual gifts, um, the ability to see things, the ability to um, dream dreams that carry messages, cancer that you know are either warnings or come to pass um all various types of things okay we will be visiting even alien and ufo encounters cancer we're gonna go over the vast gamut on tarot talk live okay i am a lover of not just tarot but sci-fi uh, 
all sorts of things. Um, you know, uh, mythology, Greek mythology, Eastern, Western, um, very into all of the arts and sciences, um, and different cultures and also, um, religions and where they, you know, originated from and their beliefs and things like that. So very much, we're going to be delving into a lot of different things on this channel, Tarot Talk Live. It's going to be a lot of fun, you guys. Please, please go over to YouTube um, and make sure you check that out. If you go to Queen Cancer Tarot and look in the description box, the link is there to the channel. Or if you just search in the search box for Tarot Talk Live and you will find it, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started with the extended cancer. So first, we're gonna pull some oracle, okay? We're gonna pull some oracle to channel in a message for you, cancers. And then after the oracle, then we're gonna get right into some question and answer. And then we will take a look at what the overall, um, if there are any obstacles or challenges coming towards you, Cancer. Um, we will find out if your person is changed, Cancer, or if they are going to cause the same issues again later in the future of this connection. Have they truly changed? We're going to look into that, Cancer. We're also going to look into the overall advice for you. Um, and your person, Cancer, and then we will look at the final outcome, okay, for the connection, and we will pull a love oracle at the end, okay? So let's get started. We got a lot to cover, so let's go ahead and get started with the oracle messages. Tell us about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell us about Cancer. What does Cancer need to know, please? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Okay, so... We have number four, courtship. And that always reminds me of the four of wands, Cancer. Four of wands energy here. Um, even two of cups, but definitely four of wands. Um, and we have number 31, bad health. So another four, three plus one, um adds up to four cancer so or levels down to one one digit okay so um that's how it works in the tarot so you have two fours here so definitely an energy of someone who is fixated on something or someone who is not able to move from a situation it's almost like a uh, karma uh, or a karmic this could be your karmic partner this could be a karmic soulmate or a karmic twin flame um, situation that you're in with this person, Cancer. Um, but it appears with this, both of these fours, courtship and then bad health, Cancer, that this connection is in having some issues, okay? Definitely having some issues, definitely needs some healing, some changes, um, some, some clarity, some truth. All that come to Jesus, all of that needs to happen in this connection here. Number 16, underneath the deck. Okay, thoughts. One plus six is seven. Seven also represents problems, it represents fear in the tarot. Okay, um, just specifically speaking, when you're talking about tarot and when it represents two specific numbers. Um, but in any case, Cancer, with this being said, there is an energy of, there is someone who is really thinking or, you you know, they're trying to, I feel like this person is trying to come up with a way to fix the situation, okay? And I feel like this could be your energy here, all right? Um, but I do feel like, and, you know, also your person's energy as well, like I said, you have a, a feminine and a masculine energy here. And this masculine energy is uh, very patient, okay? Um, and like I said, I feel like your person has definitely expressed and shown an ex <laughs> some patience here, a level of patience, 
okay? Um, or if it could be reverse cancer. When I do readings, the energy can be flipped. So please keep that in mind when you're listening to my readings, okay? So if I'm saying this is your person and you're resonating with this energy as being you, cancer, take it as such. You know what I mean? Or it could be a third party's energy here. So please, again, keep your a very open mind when you're listening to a tarot reading. But again, with thoughts here and with both of these fours, it's like an energy of, you know, people are fixated on trying to work things out. Okay. So there is an energy of both parties, Cancer, on both ends want to fix things. You know, on one hand, things are in very bad health here. On the other end, you have someone who's very eager and ready for courtship. Okay, and I feel like, again, it's you and your person that's being represented here. All right, so let's see what else we have. Let's pull some Oracle here, Cancer. Let's cleanse the deck. I'm big on cleansing the deck, Cancer. Clearing off any old stagnant energy that is uh remaining from previous readings here so tell us about cancer please holy spirit angels and guides tell me about cancer holy spirit angels and guides tell me about cancer please holy spirit angels and guides tell me about cancer okay we have honor honor your loved one and you will notice your relationship becoming stronger definitely a, a necessity in this connection here and I feel like this cancer don't get mad this is on both ends now I feel like there is an energy of you went too far with some of the words that you expressed in the midst of your anger you know and this is after you made the decision cancer to come back to your person now um and even still um don't pe don't treat people the way they treat you and then you have temptation under the deck. Think carefully about the situation, Cancer. You know, that ice cream is getting really messy. You know, it's starting to drip on your hands and it's starting to become a messy situation. Okay, what started off really great got real messy real quick. Once things heated up, it's like in the heat of the sun or in the heat of your anger, Cancer. It's like the sun is representing that passion, that anger that's heating up this beautiful, delicious, perfectly made ice cream cone here. Looks like soft serve too. So definitely a delicate situation already, but your anger will cause passions or tensions to increase, right? Causing bad health in the connection, right? So there's going to be a need to really ponder over the situation to figure out what can you do to make things up to your person for your behavior here you know so let's pull some more oracle here let's go ahead and cleanse the deck cancer and I usually cleanse those decks over there to the side with my incense before I put it away but I'm just doing some additional cleansing here Holy Spirit angels and guides tell me about cancer please tell me about cancer please Holy Spirit angels and guides and we have forgiving and learning as you release and Heal the past. You experience more love in your present moments. Cancer, what did I tell you? That ice cream won't melt so much. Once you learn how to forgive, forgiving and learning, Cancer, learning how to forgive under the deck, calling in your soulmate, period, point blank. This is the situation. And they're like, 
finally cancer it's like an energy of finally they realized what they need to do to get me back <laughs> so you're calling that person back in right and they haven't left and it's like angel wings behind the two okay or this is an angel standing behind this person Okay, as they're calling in their soulmate, calling in their soulmate from the divine. And if you hold this picture back, you can't even tell that there is multiple um, people here, right? Um, but when you pull it in closely, you see very clearly there too. Okay, but once you pull it back, it looks as if it's one. Okay, this divine being this angel. So I feel like as you give praise as you give thanks right as you give gratitude as you are grateful cancer as you are grateful as you are forgiving as you are grateful for the things that your person does have that are worthwhile okay you're not counting all their faults now right you're counting their pros. So you're starting to realize, okay, well, they're not 100% horrible. And guess what? Neither am I, right? So it goes both ways and you start to see what it really is. So it says your prayers, look at this, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. Cancer, what did I tell you? Your prayers affirmations and visualizations 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 cancer and this is an energy of getting in the attitude that you want to present before you okay um basically and i'll break this down because i have to do it with myself and my person all the time cancer i have to be in character or out of character <laughs> uh, most of the time um, so that I can bring in a situation that is going to manifest the end result that I choose. And if I don't get out of character, okay, cancer, quick enough, then it's either never going to manifest or I'm going to manifest something that I don't necessarily want to deal with. Right? So there's an energy of your attitude changes your view. My uncle <laughs> um, taught me that and very important to understand what that means. Um, you know, you might need a, an attitude adjustment, right? Because your attitude will change your view, not just your view, but your actual physical manifestations will present itself you know what i mean um in such a way to to where it is exactly what it is you manifested you're not going to get back anything ridiculous it's like be careful what you ask for you're just going to get it no sometimes you can be careful what you're not asking for because then you're not going to get that specific you know what i mean so there you go and put yourself in position by being grateful, thankful, giving those affirmations, positive affirmations, being thankful and grateful and positive affirmations and visualizing the thing in whatever it is you want it to be. And then it's going to happen. That was a lot to say this cancer, <laughs> a lot to say this. I feel as though your thoughts is going to be what is going to manifest this situation back together on both of your parts. If your person, their positive thoughts, you know, being, you know, stable minded cancer, you know, if it was any other person situation, you may have been left a long time ago, right? You and your comments, your, your grudges, your anger, your hostilities, right? Ears are ringing right now, which means it's my own message and as well as the collectives, a vast majority of you guys. So don't, don't hide. Don't shy away. I'm not, my hand is the first to be raised here. Okay. So call in your soulmate by forgiving and learning, learning how to honor your person, 
cancer, not being tempted by that passion, that anger that, you know, feels good in the moment, but it has long lasting effects like the sun. It feels great in the moment, right? But too much of it can have long lasting effects that you cannot get rid of or that can be damaging to you. Hello, don't stay in the sun in the wrath of your anger too long. Don't let the sun go down. Hello, is this coming full circle? Don't let the sun go down on your wrath. That is exactly what that means. Cancer. <laughs> beautiful message. Okay, let's move on cancer. So perfect intro into the first question. Cancer, will your bitterness go away and stay away for good? Or are you not truly over the betrayal? And it's okay to admit it, but you do need to admit it so you can deal with that, right? Because that's an unforgiving spirit. Hello? Hello? Oh, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Angels and guys, almost afraid to say that because, you know, you're going to get the truth when you ask in that manner. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, what clarity, what guidance, what love messages do we have for cancer? Please tell me what cancer needs to know. Will cancer's bitterness go away and stay away for good? Or is cancer not truly over the betrayal? That one went on the floor. And <laughs> let's see. Well, uh, 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 cancer, two of cups just fell on the floor in the reverse. This is an energy of someone who is feeling vulnerable, insecure, temporary, loss of faith in their person, feeling just a lot of, still blocked emotionally, okay? Still blocked emotionally. So I do feel like you're still bitter, Cancer. Three of Wands in the reverse. This is delays. This is someone feeling as though they're compromising or being frustrated because they feel like they're compromising, Cancer. So when you come back to your person, it's an energy of I'm back, but I'm pissed that I'm back. Hello, ears ringing again. I'm back, but I'm pissed that I'm back because I'm still mad about what you did to make me leave in the first place. <laughs> oh my God. So Cancer, so is this, is this your story too, Cancer? I'm telling you, vast majority of the Cancer Collective out there is dealing with the situation like this. And like I said, it is not all one person's fault here. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the six of pentacles at some point or even in the reverse, because I do feel an energy of someone who's taking, and I'm not going to say cancer, cancer, but there is an energy of someone who's taking advantage and basking in the sun of their anger a little bit too long. Okay. Tell the truth, shame the devil. Three of pentacles underneath the deck. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Let's all just get along, Cancer. Can we all just get along? Can we all just get along? I don't know how to sound like Mike Tyson. Can we all just get along? <laughs> Can we all just get along? I don't know. <laughs> but that is what that represents, Cancer. It's an energy of like, look. Like if you could just shake both of you, but you know, not really your person's been pretty patient or the person that has been patient has been pretty patient. Okay. I'm not just going to keep ragging on you cancer. Cause again, the energies can be flipped. So it could be you on the other side of that ice cream cone <laughs> and it could be your person. All right. So very interesting. So cancer, it does seem as though in this case, at this point, that you're not really completely over this betrayal of yours. Let's go ahead um, and your persons. I'm sorry. Let's And it's okay. But don't come back and start working things out if you're still in this energy. Or change your attitude so that you can get into this energy. 
of three of pentacles let's work it out let's kumbaya let's hold hands let's go see a therapist so maybe you might need to go see a therapist with your person cancer in order to honor them more okay in order to help move past the feelings of anger regret betrayal frustration and just sheer you know not smartness for going back i feel like you're mad because you went back to this person um but you care about this person cancer clearly the four of uh we saw that four there with courtship and i was going to say the four of wands so let's clarify here tell me about this two of cups in the reverse okay and we got the magician so listen this is an energy of what did i say look at this cancer Creative visualization is on this card. Creative visualization. And this is um, the learning tarot card deck. Beautiful, beautiful deck. But there's so many different aspects on this card deck um, that answer so many different questions when I'm doing my reading. So it's very good to incorporate. It has yes, no, or maybe answers um, numerals on here to represent um, multiple things when you're doing the reading and symbols all sorts of different symbolism um, so yes very good deck to have but cancer this is it this magician energy and with the two of cups in the reverse again this is someone who is feeling blocked because they're still pissed off, okay? They're not really ready to let this person all the way in yet. They're still busy being upset. They're still visualizing what this person has done. They're not visualizing kumbaya right now. Underneath the deck, we have the Empress, Cancerian energy. Cancer, I'm sorry, but this is all you. This is also Libra Taurus energy too, but I'm just saying, this is your reading, Cancer. Own it own it you are an empress cancer you are an an empress but i feel as though as well there is a bit uh, not a bit a lot of manipulation going on on your part i feel like you are taking this to the hilt with your frustration and non-forgiveness and bitterness okay there's a bit of a you're playing the cards that you have been dealt here okay a little bit too long but yes you are playing the cards that you've been dealt i will give you that i keep telling you i'm gonna play devil's advocate through a lot of the readings because it is what it is we're not all perfect tell me about the three of wands in the reverse this is that frustration that energy of being frustrated you know, strength card. Listen, Leo energy, cancer. You tried your best to hold out. You tried, and I feel like you're angry with yourself for going back. You tried your best to hold out underneath the deck page of swords, cancer. Th there's an energy of you were constantly checking for your person. You were constantly checking to see what your person was doing the entire time. So there's an energy of, you know, being mad that you were coming back, but there's an energy of not wanting to be gone either or away, right? Because you wanted to, you were so busy or so worried about what this person was doing. You were so curious. This talks about curiosity here. It also has key words on this card and this tarot deck. I love the back cancer with the moon here. You know I love the double moons. So, you know, thus symbolizing the twin flame energy here. But cancer, yes, that page of swords energy, this person is checking up on you. They don't want to. Or you don't want to check up on your, pers on your person, but you are. It's frustrating. But you are. Tell me about the three of pentacles, please. You want to get back. You want to work it out with this person. King of Cups, Cancer. Like you're still in your head about the situation. You're still not. You're still a little bit detached. 
you love this person, yes. You still want to be with this person, yes. But there's a bit of you still having this separation between you and your people. You're still pushing them away to a degree. Under the deck, the sun. Cancer, see? You're basking in the sun of your separation. You holding this person to this accountability, right? And I feel like this also is all about you being very emotionally intelligent. That's the key word on here. This King of Cups, very wise in love situations, Cancer. And you are very wise. And look at that number 19 looking at us. Beautiful number for me. Beautiful number for me. My son, one of my son's birthday is on the 19th. I'm on the 18th. So one story I will tell because I had a dream about that. And we are going to be talking about dreams on Tarot Talk Live tonight. So please check us out over on Tarot Talk Live. We are going to be discussing dreams. Okay. Hopefully if the stream, um, I'm going to do a pre-recording for the first video, you guys, because I do not want it to go wrong. This is going to be an introduction to our week and our discussion on dreams. And I'm going to be rolling these out on Wednesdays. Okay. Um, or Tuesdays cancer. I'll be introducing what we're going to be discussing for the week on Tuesdays. Um, but on Wednesdays, you know, we're going to be having our show. So that is the situation. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. So stay tuned. It may be a little on the later end, um, but that video is available for all of those in the replay gang. You are more than welcome to watch it. And if there is broken down into parts, I will make sure I have chapters available. So Cancer, you guys are, are so beautiful and lovely. I may make this a free extended for you guys because this energy is popping. So this may be a free extended for you on the channel. But listen, with the sun card here and the king of cups, definitely an energy of, you know, basking in this sun of your anger for too long. You know, you're playing the separation from your person. You're playing it to your benefit here, but it's kind of become a detriment for you at this point, right? And I feel like there's just a need for you to come clean, be honest, you know, with yourself. All right. And let your person back in and just be forgiving. Right. So let's see. Does your person deserve this forgiveness, Cancer? Have they truly changed? Okay. Or are they going to revert back to their old ways? Hmm. Let's find out. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell us about cancer. Oh, wow. Why did the angel just tip over, you guys? I have an angel stand here, and the angel just tipped over. So I'm hoping that that was not a sign that the angels are going to be moving um, or that there's some disruption and the angels are going to be working. To push your person or push you, Cancer? Let's see. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer. Has their person changed? Has your person changed, Cancer? Are they going to revert back to their old ways? Oh, man. Let's see. Let's see. But this reflects an energy, nine of wands, cancer, and the seven of swords, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Again, you could be dealing with an earth sign or you could be dealing with um, an air sign, cancer. Um, but you got a lot of strong Leo energy in this reading. Um, but cancers... With this nine of wands here, this represents an energy of someone who is like, it's like the, it's resisting change. It's not, or resisting movement. It's not 
moving. And with the seven of swords, it's like an energy of someone being deceptive. And I feel like there's an energy of this person is, is going to remain the same deceptive person. Cancer under the deck. Oh God. We have the 10 of swords, cancer. This represents betrayal. This represents betrayal and a breakup. I feel like there's going to be an energy of, you know, you're going to end up walking away from this person. So, Cancer, for you to probably hold on to your grudge, it may be that Cancerian, good old Cancerian intuition after all. Hey, there are twists that take take place in these extendeds. I never said there was not a twist in an extended, you guys. So, sometimes if the readings may not make sense... Please check out the extendeds. I put them at a reasonable rate, eleven dollars and eleven cents for all of my extendeds. I don't care if they're an hour long, twenty minutes long, thirty minutes long. They're always going to be eleven dollars and eleven cents. But sometimes you you know pipe dreams get busted in those extendeds, or sometimes very traumatic looking situations can turn into some very hopeful situations. But I feel like in this case, Cancer, I don't know. Let's clarify, because I really do see a situation of your, your person not really learning their lesson. <sighs> Tell me about this Nine of Wands energy, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about the Nine of Wands, please, for Cancer. And look, we have the nine of swords, Cancer. I'm sorry. This is this person. This talks about somebody having a lot of anxiety because their person is like constantly in an energy of leaving them up at night, waiting, wondering, wondering where they are. You know what I mean? Where is my person? I don't want to be trying to figure out where my person is. You know, it's not fair. It's not right to have someone in this energy of being constantly anxious so I do feel like an energy of you feeling regretful um, that you stayed cancer this is someone regretting the fact that they stayed with this person nine of wands you stayed with this person and with that seven of swords cancer they're going to come back and tell lies again with that ten of swords under the deck this is an energy of constantly creating causing someone to be a victim over and 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 over unacceptable under the deck we have the ace of pentacles and this is an energy of moving on to a new opportunity cancer so you know um yeah cancer you know you want something new you don't want to constantly be in this situation of having to wait for this person you thought that it was going to last it was supposed to last but this person has manipulated you they've lied and they haven't changed tell me about the seven of swords and look, we have the Eight of Wands, Cancer. So you're going to find out. I feel like there may be multiple people that may be coming in and telling you about what this person is doing behind your back. Because this talks about communication. This also talks about things moving very quickly or going in the other direction very fast. So I feel like Cancer with that Seven of Swords, like this person is moving real quick. They're making a whole lot of movements, Cancer, and not going no damn where. But, you know, down a wormhole. Underneath the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. What did I tell you? This is all very one-sided and in not so positive a direction. But yes, Cancer, there was an energy of you were laying it on this person. You were overwhelmingly... And I'm going to go ahead and use the M word, mean, to your person. And there is a reason. When that angel, remember when that angel got tipped over and I said, what is that a sign, Cancer? I don't discount anything that happens in my readings. N nothing is by mistake. Okay? I don't care if a pin drops and we hear it there's a reason 
and I correlate that to the energy of the message that I am trying to present or whatever it is that you're resonating with at the time. I may have no clue what you're resonating with, but you know what you're resonating with. That's why my message is my message and you are the collective. And if you can take it where you can get it and get it how you live it, Cancer, I'm going to get some t-shirts made because that's our famous quote on the show. I only say it here, get it how you live it right here on Queen Cancer Tarot. That is a t-shirt and a hat and I will get them made for you guys. If you would like to purchase one, just let me know in the comments and I will reserve one for you. But please, get it how you live it. Take the meat, spit out the bones. That's my grandmother's. No one can take that. No one can take it. It's trademark, both of them. Get it how you live it on Queen Cancer Tarot. And take the meat and spit out the bones. Eat the meat, spit out the bones. Okay? So, yeah, Cancer... This is all coming at you. I feel like all of this information and this communication is all coming, you know, in one on um, in one direction. Like all of this is coming at you at once. All of these people are hitting you up, telling you what your person was doing last night. <laughs> I know what your man did last night. Oh no, it's becoming a movie. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. I mean, this is just. It is what it is, but it is cancer. Oh, God, we got the five of swords. Listen, you are simply just over it, cancer. You're over it. This person, you know, they play games, mind games. They, they're they deceiving. Their behavior is sabotaging to the connection, and you are done. Ten of swords, done, son, mon frere. Eight of Swords, you are blocking this person. Cancer, you're moving on. You are moving on and out of the situation <laughs> and the country. Okay, you're done. You're done. So yeah, they have not truly changed, Cancer. Answer to your question, you got it. And Cancer, that is obviously the obstacle. Okay, um, but let's see if there's any other obstacles that you need to be aware of with this person right now. Tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and God. Uh, huh, 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 huh. Not the old trickster. The good old trick that doesn't really work so much right now. That old Ace of Wands cancer. This person is thinking with their shtick. Shtick. Okay. S-C-H-T. I see and kissy poops ace of wands that's all they're thinking about is how can I get cancer to, to you know because that'll change cancer's mind that'll keep cancer from going so I feel like this person is going to try to put that on you cancer with the temperance card see they're trying to get you to forgive them by using you know some old sexual desire Marvin Gaye like turn that off boy it is like 2.33 p.m. in the afternoon. I am here to pick up my mail. Why are you trying to accost me <laughs> at the mailbox? I feel like there's an energy of your person who's like, like showing up, you know, when you're like trying not to be around this person and like they're trying to like, look at this, the chariot, cancer. This is your person. You're in your car. You're driving to their house just to pick up some left over like lipstick that you paid way too much money for and you will be doggone if you leave that lipstick there for some two bit so and so that was a bit much cancer but I'm just saying there's an energy of you getting in your car and going to this person for some reason cancer okay I don't know if it's lipstick or whatever it is page of cups here in the background so apparently you know there's some lipstick and this person's going to be standing here you know, in like a really short gown, <laughs> trying to accost you at the mailbox when your lipstick should have been in the mailbox, Cancer. It was supposed to be in the mailbox, but they're going to be holding it, right? Something like that to that extent. Let me know in the comment section. That's always fun when I find out. Let's clarify. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. <sighs> the good old trick, Cancer. 
and the tower. <laughs> Listen, the tower is falling down. London Bridge is falling down, Cancer. I feel like there's an energy of you, like this person is, and seven represents problems, Cancer. One plus six is seven. Like this person is going to have some problems when you reject them. And it's not just going to be regular problems, but I'm sorry. I just had to say that. But yeah, Cancer, there's an energy of this person is going to fail really fast and and slow at the same time. And it's going to be pretty pathetic. Under the deck, Six of Cups. Listen, they want you to remember what it used to be like, Cancer. Remember what it used to be like, do you understand? And you are having nothing of the such. Do you understand me? With the tower, it is like H to the nay nay. Do you see that N to the no there? Big old no. No to the no, no, no. And they're coming in from the past like, please just take me back. Just say yes. Just, you know, you weren't here just for the lipstick, really. You're like, no, really, I need that lipstick. Look, look at you, page of pentacles, hand over the lipstick, please. You know what I mean? Just, just hand it over. And this person just wants you to, to, to pay attention, to recognize that they got their little short gown on and you're just there picking up, you know, lipstick at 2.33 in the afternoon. It's pretty ridiculous. Tell me about the temperance card, please. <laughs> and look, the three of cups, this is an energy of, you know, can we just get along? Where's my Mike Tyson voice? Can we all just get along? Can can we all can we all just can we all just get along? Can we all just get along? Wait. Can we all just get along? I don't know. It's getting worse and worse, Cancer. Somebody get on here with the Mike Tyson impression. Okay, and you get a free reading. The hanged man underneath the deck. The hanged man underneath the deck. Like this person just refuses to just go away, Cancer. They just want to hang around. They just want to be a pet. Uh, uh, one of those little chia pets that you like pour water in every seven days. They don't care. They don't care what you do. Just let them hang around, Cancer. They just want to be your friend. They just want to hang out. Tell me about the chariot. You're going to get right back in the car that you got into to get your lipstick and you're going to drive right away. Tell me about the chariot, please. And move towards your future. Wheel of fortune, Cancer. Wheel of fortune. You are going towards your good fortune, your karma. All of this is coming back, your destiny, Cancer. And it's like an energy of this. Things are coming full circle, full circle. Cancer under the deck. Justice card. Oh my God. Cancer number 11. Twin flame energy. Beautiful, beautiful Cancer. I'm so glad I decided to give you guys a, a free extended because I like you so much. I'll go ahead and release it this evening too because I like you so much. But yeah, yeah. Justice card, Cancer. Karma. This is coming full circle. You are getting justice, Cancer. You're finding out the truth about this person. You gave them a chance and they they didn't honor the chance that you gave them. It's going to be on them, Cancer. It's going to be on them. You did your diligence. Look at this devil here. I'm telling you. And I'm thinking you're dealing with either an earth or a, a fire sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Sag, or Leo here. Or you could be dealing with a Libra. But definitely a lot of fire energy going on and a lot of earth energy here, Cancer. So, you know, that that temptation is not going away. That's the obstacle here um, for this person and for you, okay? Because we did want to know what the obstacles were for you and your person. Um, let's find out what the overall advice is, Cancer. What is the advice for Cancers, please? Holy Spirit, I can't let you go without advice. Hmm. Well, Cancer, look, death card in the reverse and the ace of cups in the reverse. Very interesting. Scorpionic Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Strong Scorpionic energy here. But Cancer... What's interesting with that 
Ace of Cups in the reverse again. Same Ace of Cups that we had before Cancer. When you're feeling so just insecure, feeling really just vulnerable and upset. But with that Death card in the reverse Cancer, the advice is just because it's 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 hard for you doesn't mean you shouldn't let it go you understand if it's toxic if you're still upset if you're still emotionally blocked because you're still angry if you're still frustrated if you're still sad if you're still insecure if you still feel like you can't trust this person if you still feel vulnerable around this person what is don't get back with this person right now let that cup stay upside down don't let anybody put anything in that cup right now. Don't do it. It's not ready for anything to be put inside of it, Cancer. It's not over. It hasn't let go. Death card in the reverse is somebody who's holding on to negative patterns or someone who's staying in a toxic situation because they're afraid of letting go. Don't be afraid of letting go. If it's time to let go holy moses two of swords under the deck don't be afraid to cut it cancer cut it cut it and you got the two of wands cancer don't hold on to that wand look at that ace of wands coming back here Woo! these cards pop when you put them in that cleansing incense i'm telling you they pop the energy pops on this channel we love you i love you guys so much the collective is growing with some really beautiful wonderful strong powerful energy here and it is webbing and ebbing and flowing with mine my ears are ringing so it's like a beautiful acapella song sang so perfectly because the truth is being displayed here two of swords and the two of wands you know sometimes you just gotta let it go you gotta let go of that uh umbilical cord you gotta cut the cord cancer that ace of wands you gotta cut that wand that wand wasn't even working right the last time we checked right remember they wanted it to work they wanted you to think it was working but it wasn't good for you okay tell me about the death card in the reverse whoa 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 my thighs caught that one and that's funny because we got the high priestess and it came out in the reverse this is an energy of someone who is holding on to something and they know they know the truth they know they need to let go this is somebody who's confused somebody who also really just has some other uh, ulterior motive so cancer there may be a reason why you were holding on to this person i feel like you kind of wanted to put this person through your own little situation. I don't know what that's about, Cancer, but I, I feel like there's some other things going on. See, Queen of Wands here under the deck. It's all about that third party Cancer for you. I feel like that's kind of struck a chord for you. It really, really dug into a deep nerve and you wanted your person to pay. Tell me about the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, Cancer, the moon, see? You were hiding the fact that you were really not happy with this person. You really were still emotionally sad and felt very separated from this person when you came back. Thus, why you still, see? Nine of cups under the deck. You were not satisfied. You And you kept it to yourself cancer you didn't you were coming back to a situation that you knew was one cup short and that cup short was the ace of cups cancer that you had upside down that you said close for business so cancer maybe you did have your cup turned upside down but you came back for a reason that probably wasn't healthy for you okay because that does talk about being rotten okay when you're stagnant there we go with the two fours cancer the two fours, even though this courtship was in bad health, you were sticking around. I told you, I told you, Cancer, this was a situation where you were hanging on to something. You were thinking, you were stuck in your thoughts 
okay about this situation, even though cancer with the number seven, it there is problematic. You knew it was going to be a problem when you came back. Tell me about the two of swords, please. Which is going to make it that much easier for you to cut this person off. Look at this. Lord, today, queen of swords. I knew she was coming out. I knew it. Do you see what I'm looking at right here? What does that look like? It looks like two swords. It looks like this two of swords right here, doesn't it? I My ears are ringing. And one plus two plus is three. Three of Swords. Cancer, you're pissed. You're st a woman scorned. And you're coming back to settle a score. And this is something hidden. This is something hidden. See how you, the eyes are blindfolded here? It's like you see what you're about to do, but no one else can see why, why you're sitting there. You, no one can see why Cancer is still sitting here. Why Cancer hasn't left. Cancer still has some business to attend to. So that's that you and that vendetta, Cancer, under the deck, Knight of Cups. And Cancer, this is interesting. <sighs> Queen Cancer Tarot puts this better than anybody I've ever seen put this. The Knight of Cups, everybody is always so of terrified of the knight of wands or always so upset and angry with the knight of wands like the knight of wands is such a bad person right no the knight of wands is very clear about the knight of wands intentions okay they are they are very free spirited they don't give two about what anybody has to say but that knight of cups cancer they're always smiling they're always smiling look creativity and expression or creative expression somebody has always got a smile on their face don't trust them cancer if it's always roses don't trust them i like guns and roses don't give me roses and beds of roses give me guns and roses give me roses and 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 something else but don't just give me roses because i'm gonna feel like you're trying to cover something up do you understand that? Knight of Wands is a very passive aggressive energy and Cancer Baby Tarot puts it best. Homage to Cancer Baby Tarot. I love her so much. I listen to her readings daily, every day, some twice a day. Okay. Check her channel out. I'm going to put a list of recommended readers in the description box below for you guys and recommended channels. Nosy Hose, um, Nosy Hose Live is another channel that I recommend and CTV conscious TV. I recommend those highly and the happy cancer tarot. Love them dearly. Highly recommend, but yeah, cancer that night of cups is passive aggressive, smiling in your face. And, but guess what? This queen of cups is passive aggressive ready. Okay. Do you understand me? That's why it's underneath the deck. Hello. That's why it's underneath this queen of wands. Do you understand? Because the queen of wands can see. The queen of wands has intuition. The queen of wands is wise. The queen of wands has been through this a time or two or three or four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times before. So this queen of wands knows better all the tricks of this knight of cups energies trade. Tell me about the two of wands, please. Holding on to that wand, Cancer. You holding on to that wand. Let that wand go. That wand doesn't even work anymore. Seven of Pentacles, Cancer. Taurus, Vir Virgo, Capricorn energy. And this is an energy of someone who is holding on to something and hoping that it's going to turn into gold later. But please let that go, honey, because that's really coal underneath. That's fool's gold. Oh, Wow. My ears are ringing again. Fool's Gold. Listen to that song. Fool's Gold. Google it. Fool's Gold. Google it. Google it. And it's not... It. There's two Fool's Gold. And both of them, Cancer, Google them. And listen to them. One is an independent artist. The other one is good old Adele. We all know and love her. Listen to it. And 
kid you not, Cancer, this is the story that I am telling right now. Story that I am telling right now. And the title of this message, Cancer, overall. It's, honestly, it's fool's gold underneath that wand. You think it's the wand of gold, of ecstasy, that's going to solve all of the world's wonderful problems, including hunger. World of Cups underneath the deck? No, it's not, honey. You're going to get closure. Two plus one is three. Once again, creative visualization. Get it how you live it. Cancer, full circle, this world. Get it how you live it. Go watch part one and two on my channel on YouTube. And Cancer, this is a free extended, so go watch part one and two. This is going to be part three of a bomb series. I love you guys so much. Let's look at the final outcome, and then we're going to pull one oracle, and we're out. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. This was beautiful. Tell me about cancer. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about cancer and cancer's person. Ooh, cancer. Too hot to handle. Too cold to hold. What is that? Get it how you live it. What? What? Who said that, by the way? Too hot to handle, too cold to hold. I'll give you a free 15-minute reading if you can give me the correct answer. In my email, the first person to answer that question correctly will get a free 15-minute reading. As many questions as you can ask in 15 minutes, you will get a free reading with me. What famous artist said that? Too hot to handle, too cold to hold. It's got to be the one I'm thinking of. So, Hierophant and the Sun, Cancer. This is that lesson that you're going to learn about not basking in the sun of your wrath too long, but also, Cancer, realizing the truth that you already knew. Remember that High Priestess in the reverse? Remember I said when you were, you know, you were keeping that truth covered up for whatever your reasons were, Cancer, no, not good, not worth it. That person's not worth that energy. With the sun, this is an energy of someone who is being optimistic, who's on the up and up. Someone who's being very um, confident, someone who's being very, you know, truthful and honest. No bitterness whatsoever. No bitterness whatsoever. I have to say it again. With the Hierophant and the Sun, these are two very, very divine guided energies. Nothing but the divine here. There's no room for negativity, grudges, unforgiveness, any of that, Cancer. The divine is going to deal with you in this situation. Um, and you're going to ultimately come out a winner. Oh, my God. Ten of Pentacles under the deck, Cancer. This is definitely an energy of uh, abundance. You're going to have a windfall of everything you've ever wanted is going to come your way. Okay, let's see. Tell me about the Hierophant. That's an energy of someone who wants to get married, wants to settle down. I feel like, Cancer, your soulmate is coming. They are coming. Tell me about the Hierophant. And we got three of wands in the reverse. And this is talking about foresight, but this is in the reverse. So I feel like there's an energy of you feel like this is unrealistic. I feel like when this comes through cancer, you're it's this talks about a lack of planning. So you're not going to be ready or you're not going to expect it when this person does come in. And as a matter of fact, cancer, you're going to talk against it. You're going to be a little bit arrogant when this person comes in. That's a card of arrogance. Three of wands in the reverse. Because it's like, you know, yeah, right. Okay. Knight of swords under the deck. Cancer, see what I mean? You're very assertive. You're very direct. You're going to use your words and you're going to say some things. And, you know, you may want to just be careful, Cancer, because this is an energy of, you know, positivity here. Um, but again, you're being very strong and decisive because you want the outcome that you want. You want to be able to control the narrative here, Cancer. So tell me about the sun. 
tell me about the sun, please. This is a energy of things being very positive for you, Cancer. Oh, that flipped around like spin the bottle. And we got, look, the Hierophant in the reverse here. The Hierophant in the reverse. So, Cancer, this is an energy of things being not the way you expect them to be. Like, it's nothing at all like what you are used to. It's very, very unconventional when it happens. And the sun energy is you being in a very positive attitude or having a very open, positive attitude. And I feel like, you know, what comes towards you, you know, it's going to confirm this for you, Cancer. It's going to confirm that this is your person. Okay, and I feel like things are going to be a little bit reversed with you and this person. Like the roles may be switched a little bit when this person comes in, but you're definitely going to take a less assertive role. I feel like this person is going to come in with a very strong um, energy. Okay, um, under the deck, five of pentacles. And this is an energy of someone who is um, feeling like someone is, or like they've lost something. So that's a bit of a challenge. And that could be the challenge that we're speaking of here. Okay. Um, and also this cancer, when the Hierophant is in the reverse, when it's in the upright, this is when you're going with the traditional beliefs and the way things have always been, right? When it's in the reverse, you're not going along with the status quo. You're calling the shots this time. And I feel like there's going to be that energy, you being very confident when you get with this person. It's not going to be the same situation, Cancer, okay? Um, very transparent energy here, Um like everyone is going to be able to see um, this cancer. And, and that may be also another challenge. Okay. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. And we have the Six of Swords, Cancer. Something moving very, very quickly. And moving to something that's going to be very happy, much calmer, um, Ten of Pentacles, again, very fast moving energy, um, but things are going to calm down. So this is talking about things getting better after being in a very problematic situation of a relationship before. And under the deck, Nine of Wands. Cancer, you are resilient. After all, you have made it. You are still in that energy of being very, um, you know, loyal, okay, but there's an energy of you've transitioned and you are with someone who's worth being loyal for now. So there's an energy of, yes, you do have your Ten of Pentacles. You can sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride because you've made it home, Cancer. Let's go ahead and pull one oracle to close out the message. This has been beautiful. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, and this sits right over the incense, you guys. So these are cleansed. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Whoa. I pulled out way too many cards fell out. But this deck sits, it lives over my incense. So it remains in a clean state. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about cancer. Okay. Reflection. Wow, look at that. Reflection. And I told you there's an energy of you know, on both of your sides, Cancer, there's things that you need to learn and you need to honor and respect, right? Um, but I felt like the temptation, it just got messy. Your person was just too messy, Cancer, and it was a bad situation. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. See. Wow. Wow, wow, and wow. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. I'm done. So Cancer, yes, it is time to separate from this person. Um, give them some space because you're going to find out the truth. The truth is going to come flying at you in the form of those eight wands. Um, you guys, this has been so real. I love you guys so much. 
if you would like to have a deeper extended for those of you who would like to take this one step further and we can go even further and ask even more invasive questions get even more juice and i'll pull some more oracle in that go ahead and let me know send me an email request and i will send you the link all right. I love you guys so much. Check me out on Tarot Talk Live. You guys go subscribe. Check us out later. We're going to be talking about dreams. These are the dreams. All kinds of dreams, you guys, and things that I've seen. Check us out over there on Tarot Talk Live. Go subscribe. Click the notification, you guys, so you can be notified when I do go live. It's going to be a big one starting up. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.